more holes. Oops, that was too far away to break the other one. There you go. Got Give me all that delicious stone that I can make more walls out of. Thank you very much. And there's some uh, ore there. Which I would very much like to have. Give me it! Give me the iron! Please! Thank you. Uh, we're gonna have to eat. Om nom 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 nom. Slightly irradiated. Tastes like chicken and some ungodly creature. We're gonna put more explosive stuff. Not too close to us. Because that would be stupid. Wow, okay. Really? What? What? <laughs> well, who is that? Is it because this thing is like a 26 durability? What? I don't even know. I don't know. But I think we got a lot of stone. So, yeah, we can, uh. Get some more cobblestone. It wasn't nearly as much as I was hoping for, but. Whatever. And they're breaking something up there. Just, just climb the ladder! Jeez! Please! I suddenly forgot how to use a ladder in the zombie apocalypse. Jeez. Like, you think I lost my mind living in this gas station? <laughs> no. Um, I think they're just smacking an animal or whatever. I hear something going on. Is that I hear them smacking something. What are you smacking? It's coming from such a far distance away, I have no idea. <laughs> it gets stuck on the bush. Zombie versus bush. Bush one. Look at him. He's really, really got a momentous stride. He's like, Ooh, brains! Whatever. It is of no consequence to me. Looks like we're making good progress on this wall. Uh, punch the bush. No, not the metal, you dumb shit! Oh! Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. I wasn't punching in that direction. How does... I... I don't know. And we're still short. And we ruined our wall. I... I just... I am speechless. I don't know what to tell you. We're gonna break this tree. So we don't need it. We need the wood, we don't need the tree. Your wood. I'd like to finish this wall before night time. And that's probably not going to happen now. I'm not making the wall out of wood, I refuse to. Oh, we can't even repair this. There we go. There. Paired it with shitty wood. Let's quickly grab some stone. Let's do what we were doing not very successfully before. <laughs> ah! Um, the rage is setting in. So much rage. Cobblestone. Hey, we got four pieces. Whoop de friggin' do. Any more? I could have sworn I saw more. We're suddenly having a stone shortage, which is really silly because there's so much stone in this biome, and to not have it is just is some kind of freaky. I don't know. That's what it seems like. Uh, come on, just burp, burp, grab the stone. Back to one inventory block. <laughs> Oh, dear me, dear me, oh my. Well, we've got more cobblestone. We should be able to 
bring the wall to a close on that side and for the most part we're more defended than we were before. It doesn't look it. But it is. Slightly. There we go. There we go. And they're gonna wreck that in one night, but it's okay. If I stand aground, they'll ignore it. We're just gonna go underground and start blasting more stuff. Having an auger would be a great thing, but at the same time, I think the auger's it kind of lost its usefulness. What with all the, um, the power of explosives now to collect all the stuff that you blow up. Like, who needs an auger? When you got a gun and a barrel of oil or some TNT. Um, could I have a torch? I don't need dirt. No one needs dirt. We will never need it. And as the sun sets, we blow up a piece of TNT which fails to ignite a barrel of oil. Yeah, sniper rifle's definitely losing its effectiveness. Um, which is a bit of a shame. So we're gonna just manually dig now, since uh, we're running out of the ability to blow them up from a distance. Since I put all my pistols upstairs, but I don't want the zombies breaking through my house just yet. We're digging away from the house. So if they do detect us, which they will, we'll be down the road. Slightly. Okay, there we go. Yeah, digging a hole. Well, it seems digging away from the house is all for naught, because I can hear them smashing my metal walls. Possibly the doors. Which, I'm pretty sure is a dog, because dogs just ignore people anyways, and they go straight for your hard-won materials. <laughs> oh my god. They should have never given dogs the ability to dig. Like, they're dangerous enough as it is. They don't need to rush to your base, smash through your walls, bypass you completely, and break your door. That's why they made the boomer, so it, you know, blasts your walls and lets zombies in. They don't need the dog to do it under your nose. They're still smashing my house up there. I can hear it. God damn it. Like a dingus, I forgot that I had actually a pistol on me. This explosion will drive them away. Probably not. Probably not. Nope. Sounds like they're breaking everything up there. <laughs> God damn. Stop breaking my face, please. Ugh. Well, there's not much we can do about it now. We chose to go underground. We can worry about it in the morning. And the sad thing is, you can't build farms underground anymore. So, the, the self-sufficiency of an underground base is just... Th there's no real such thing anymore. You can't really build an effective underground base in this game. You can't just wall yourself off anymore, and I, I think that's sad that they removed that option. Maybe in Alpha 7 they would change it so that you can actually do that. I'd be like, oh, I want, I want to have the option of growing stuff underground. So that would be cool to still, you know, be able to do that. I, I like that feature. I liked watching people build entire houses underground. It was a lot of fun, but can't do it now. They're still smacking away at something up there. I found a lot of iron, actually so much that I actually have two stacks now. So we'll be swimming in ingots before you know it, which is great. Um, as I mentioned before, however, I haven't really needed to use it so much. And we've got a lot of pickaxes from that find we found, so keep an eye out for that occasional uh, pickaxe just laying around in loot, because it's well worth the time and effort you'll put into mining.
Um, still a lot of stone that I can pick up. I gotta get more of that stone. So we have now enough materials to build a more solid wall, and hell, probably some extra scrap iron to build a scrap iron wall. Which, again, is very pricey, but at the rate we're going now, we're making more iron than we're actually losing. Again, because I'm not really using that much iron. Um, so I could effectively do it, and otherwise keep all that stuff maintained if I make a repair tool. So we've just now reached the point where our base is efficient. Um, like the last time we picked up a base a couple episodes back. Which is good. We, we're, we've reached that point that you want to be at when you're trying to survive in this game. And uh, I'm quite pleased with that. I'm quite pleased we've finally hit that milestone. Um, honestly, we reached it faster than the last time because the zombies can't run. <laughs> when they can run, you die a lot more and your base gets damaged more. Um, and I'm hearing them smashing things still, so in the morning we'll have to check that out. But I don't really want to at this point. <laughs> I just want to stay underground, but I can't. Oh, they're really breaking into something. Oh, dear God, they are smashing into something. So I think I'll talk about this um, while I wait for morning to happen here. There's something that I wanted to discuss um, as, a, as a little experimental series. I'm not one for too many series at the moment simply because I don't I don't have all the resources I need to properly maintain them. It's a lot of work and you know on occasion I have a lot of issues with my health and obviously it, as I'm saying this week, you know, I had the flu and all that and knocked me out completely, but um I was wondering uh what you guys would think about an Age of Empires 2 uh, demi series. Um, it's a game that I've, I've loved for a very long time. It was one of my favorite uh, civilization builder games, and it still is. Um, there honestly have not been many that have rivaled it. And I was thinking of getting my hands on it again, and possibly doing a demi series. Um, normally, you know, I wouldn't really say, discuss, you know, in advance something like that, you know, you're going to see it on the channel if I decide to or not, but I just, you know, I'm curious, is that a thing that people still like to watch? I, I, I occasionally like to watch people play games where they manage little communities or, you know, entire worlds or things like that, but I don't know if, you know, my viewers really enjoy that, so I just wanted to know, alongside Seven Days to Die, would you occasionally like to see a video on, uh, Age of Empires 2. I wouldn't be doing the story mode again. I'm, I'm quite opposed to the story mode and that sort of game simply because that's mainly what you're paying for, the creative uh, licensing, the creative um, stories that the game developer would make, but at least the customized mode, like a map builder, I would do a few episodes of building a giant map and then I would live in that map and under certain circumstances, like one of my favorite game modes was being able to create your own map and then giving making yourself the underdog. You're you have two two citizens and a guard or a scout. And you basically have the bare minimum of resources and you have to face a great enemy that's already, I don't know, in the medieval age or whatever. And I've done this before. It's so challenging and so fun to try to survive um, in that sort of world. And I think it would make an interesting video series. I'm not sure. Um, so, I'll, you know, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, I don't know yet if I'll even do it. I just, you know, would like some feedback on that. Um, but as it stands, I'm going to continue to do Seven Days to Die and work on, you know, showing you guys this game and how far it's come and it's going. It, it already is so different than when it first came out, for better, and some some bits for worse. <laughs> Not too pleased about the nerfing uh, and the uh, some of the AI changes, but 
you know, it's it's a, it's a progress. This game is taking on a different uh, sort of standpoint than it did when it first came out. It was like, hey, blocks and zombies, blocks and zombies, and now it's blocks, zombies, and the rage. No, it's it's not about the rage. That's just that's just my interpretation of it. Sometimes I get a little pissed off at the game, and I need to actually switch pickaxes here. I want to maintain these as long as I can. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go up there and figure out what's going on. Let's see what the damage is. Well, they didn't break into that room. They didn't break in here. Well, they have not breached the inner sanctum, but they have damaged that door, which is bad because that means they've gotten into the courtyard. Yep. Already. Okay. That's not a reassuring sight. Uh, gonna need to put it that way. Yeah, they've completely smashed this. They have broken the door again. And they're breaking planks and spikes everywhere. Probably be killing the zombies that are actually posing a threat first. Or whatever. Oh man. You guys are just ruining my bows. I'm really happy about what I've built here and and then, you know, I come back and you gotta be zombies on me, you're gonna destroy everything and I get all sad and angry at you at the same time. Oh, shit. Well, our wall is... Oh. A wall is in place, but somehow zombies have gotten in there. I don't... Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. They must have climbed over here. Time to repair that shit. Um... The question is, how'd they even get over here in the first place? What? I don't understand how they keep getting inside this courtyard. Like, they should not be able to get in here. I built it so that they can't climb over it. Oh. There doesn't appear to be anything that they can climb up on. Are they just magical? What is going on that allows them to get inside? I don't know. I really don't know. I wish they would stop hitting my walls. That's really frustrating. What are you running after? Oh, they're going after a deer. What? What? Okay, yeah, that that's a little weird. That's a little weird. He's a, he turned into a giant pinata, didn't he? Yeah, smack your friend. Smack your friend. Beat her up. Kill her. Kill her for being a nurse. Yeah, punchy. Don't make it easy for me, will you? Let's take a look at this guy. How old are you, Mr. Longneck? How are you? Oh, he's got a buddy. I want to see what's on Mr. Longneck. Nothing. Oh, that's Mr. Stag. Billy's cousin, Stag Jr., the, the 14th. Um, pff, he had nothing really of value on him. Whatever. You've got an amazing bush. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Hey, and she's a... Uh, why so cold, baby? She's really cold. Um... Then we got the generic stuff. Infected lady. Gross. Ugh. It's a chorus of grossness and diapers. Hey, the nurse had stuff on her. There we go. Uh, hello. Get off my property. He got stuck. Wow. Oh. He's doing, like, thinker pose, only without so much thinking. Or she's not thinking about anything. Goodbye. Thank you for the deer. I swear, if that was Billy, 
I will murder you twice. There's much of a reason to put torches out here. I guess I just like having them out here so that I can see zombies you know, when I'm not roaming around. The chicken with my head cut off. I guess it's good practice considering uh, I'm not playing the normal version of the game. I'm, I'm doing it with slow zombies. Slow zombies. So slow. Er, so slow. We're going to replace some of the spikes that we lost because well, it's not nice to have spikes. Missing. They've completely cleared this area of spikes. <laughs> Shit. Um, can I make more, please? Yeah, we'll make more. What are you smashing? How did you even get in there? What? The frig. I want to know. How did you get inside? And why won't you die? Answer me these questions, too, and maybe I will kill you faster. I will cause you to dirt again. Okay, so he's dead. We're going to jump down here to figure out exactly how he got in. That is BS. That is absolute and utter bullshit. There is no way he got inside here. He can't crawl through. Oh my god. We're having spawn issues again. There's no way that zombie could have gotten in. There's no way. I just went down there. If I can't jump... What? There's no way. No. No. They can't do that. They can't do this. There, no, I refuse to believe he jumped on that post. I refuse to believe he jumped on that post. That is utter bull. Here we go. Here we go. I've just built the ugliest looking little structure because I'm too lazy to remove one little post. <laughs> Crawlers and dogs be damned. They will die going under it. Nothing can climb this as it is. So, there. Problem friggin' solved. Congratulations. And while we're at it, we might as well reinforce some of this, because I frankly don't trust this side of the building since it's seriously undefended. Here we go. Here we go. So, we shouldn't have any more issues with zombies climbing in there mysteriously, and if they do, you know, it's the game is out to kill us. Literally. It is literally whispering to me in the dark. It's like, I'm gonna and all that jazz that comes along with creepy freaking phone messages. Um, so, yeah. Got some weird structure going on here. I don't really much care. It's okay. It's a game. And I think I heard a dog. I'm a little concerned. I'm just going to seal off this area. Might as well, right? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Why the hell not? We've already uh, made this base look ugly as sin, in general. It only helps. It fuels the walruses. Yeah. Ow! Jeez, that hurts. Gotta stop doing that to myself. We've gone a little crazy with this side of the base, but I guess it helps since it's been relatively undefended for the most part. Um, so now it's a defensible little fortress of safety stuff. Um, double walls and all sorts of weird fortifications and outer walls and stuff. And I might as well seal off this front area since we're not really using it that much. We're not using it, period. So, And I don't like the zombies even thinking about destroying those gas tanks in front. And we ran out of the good stuff. Nope, we can make more good stuff. To answer many questions, why don't I use a lot of concrete? Um, because it takes a lot of water to do, and I don't like doing that. I know I can make my base better um, by using concrete. I can definitely make my base better using concrete, but uh, I really choose not to do it. Because it's just it's, it's more of a hassle 
with the water, and I run out of water like crazy. Anyways, and I could always kill my character and, uh, you know, start up each and every time with fresh water. And I eventually may start doing that. I'll make like a little suicide pit for this character. But as it stands, I am literally trying to survive. I'm not trying to cheese that in any way shape or form i do cheese the water buckets but that's simply because that's what happens when you craft water buckets um i'm not going to cheese the actual core survival of the game because i would just ruin the point um haven't made a cold torch yet there isn't much of a difference but kind of want the recipe so let's make a cold torch hey i think eventually there will be a difference since cold torches uh looks different Looks slightly different, at least in the inventory. Okay, so we've got a nice little base going on. We've done a lot of repair work and all sorts of fortifications on all sides, interior, exterior. We've got a nice little wall going on, and once again, they have destroyed my door. Um, we're going to make a scrap iron door, because we have a lot of iron, and we're going to have even more at some point. I am also going to make a wooden door because frankly I don't like them being able to destroy the first door it is really really annoying thank you so much uh, so there we go yay we've got a base worthy of oh not dying in please Jesus I'm gonna make a repair tool repair tool what do we, do we use for a repair tool? Oh shit, we use pipe, don't we? No. Uh, we need forging iron for that. And I don't remember what. Oh, there we go. Repair <laughs> tool. Isn't it all pipes? Yes, it is. Hey, we remembered something. I feel smart. Yeah. Well, we have uh, repaired a few things here and removed Billy's head dents from the walls because he got a little claustrophobic. That's why he left us. Oh, Billy. Um... I'm trying to remember what else I need to repair. It wasn't much else. Most of it's already destroyed as it is. But yeah, we uh, got a nice livable little home here. And check on our garden. We'll probably take some food out. Because we're hungry and stuff. This is the wrong room. This is the room. I should really, really put signs up. Oh, that's right. There are no signs. Please, please add signs. Debs, if you're... Fun pimps, if you're watching this, please, please add the signs to the game. It would just be cool, and this one never wants to grow for some reason. I don't know why that is. Whatever, I think it's probably doesn't get enough light or something. That could that could be it. I think it's not getting enough light. Which is part of the whole new system they added. I'm gonna repair your face. Hello. I see a bunny down there. Hello, bunny. Maybe I shoot you a bit in the face. Thank you.